Hey, my good friend, Sam Haymart for Test Driven TV. Now, I've driven the Lexus LC500H and the LC500 Coupe before. Loved them. Now they've given me a convertible. So today we're going to talk about what the new drop top brings to the game. Since my test drive last year of the Lexus LC500 Coupe, a vehicle I completely loved and enjoyed for its velvety yet devilish V8, its solid and refined handling, and its good looks, they've now rolled out an even sexier topless version. Taking off the top of the LC500 really changes the game for this car. The look with the top up is almost exotic, if not slightly awkward. Well, that means exotic in some places. Putting the four layer cloth top down can be done quickly and easily even on the go at speeds up to 31 miles an hour. Once down, it stows neatly under a hard tonneau cover with a built in wind deflector. The best part about having the top down, aside of the open air wind in your hair experience, is that the sound of the 5 liter V8 is a lot louder and more a part of your driving experience. And this is one of the best sounding V8s I know right now. This makes the top down drive pure heaven. Fire it up, mash the pedal, and it's 471 horsepower and 398 pound-feet of torque just sing, baby. They sing. And zero to 60? Well, that happens at about four and a half seconds. Wind noise and buffeting at speed is minimal, hardly overpowering the sound of the V8 pumping through your soul like liquid god or the sound of the Mark Levinson audio system. The latter automatically adjusts for different acoustics when the top goes down. The interior is much the same as the LC500 Coupe, though the rear seat is less roomy as if that were possible. One other key difference is the material changes of the door panels and the dash and a few other spots where suede trims exist on the Coupe. Here, a more water-resistant variety. Bummer, as I really like the briefcase-like feel of the Coupe in that way. And yes, the trunk is smaller as expected, 3.4 cubes. Golf bag, yes, too. Mm, I don't know about that. Driving the LC500 convertible is just as solid and refined an experience as the coupe, I'm glad to say. Lexus went to great lengths to stiffen up the chassis on the bottom side to make up for the lack of a structural top side. Significant bracing has been added throughout the structure, particularly at the bulkheads and floor areas and around the rear where the pop-up roll bars are located. The result is a car that feels genuinely as stiff on rough roads and at parking lot entrances as the coupe. Even with the option 21 inch wheels, no harshness, no twisting, creaking, or shuddering here, son. The suspension has been retuned to make up for the increased 4,540 pound curb weight and the reproportioning of it. For the extra 200 pounds, various bushing and spring rate tweaks were made along with a retune of its adaptive variable suspension. In all, I felt the car generally rides softer than the coupe, whether you set the drive mode to comfort normal or sport and sport plus settings. It tends to offer up a lot of floaty body on the lower settings and even on sport isn't quite as taut as you might expect a car with this much power to be. Softer, yes, but refined it still is. As tested, my LC500 convertible rang it at $113,320 with its healthy stack of options. Actually, not a great premium over the LC500H and LC500 coupes I've tested before. I think that while it's missing some of the lavish trims and features that you might get from Mercedes and BMW in this class, it's definitely the smart value play in this arena given its quality and reliability baked in from the start. All right, my friends, there you have it for my quick test drive update of the Lexus LC500 convertible. I love it, man. I love the sound this thing makes. It's worth buying for that alone. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Now, if you want to see a full detailed test drive review of the LC500 or the LC500H, click down below in the information section. There's links to that down there. You can also see my latest video right there or subscribe to my Test Driven TV channel right there. Many ways for you to stay tuned.